Hello, this is Tony Stork. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, well, this video is to tell everyone about my experience um, installing Asahi Linux on our new M1 Mac Mini. I tell you, I've heard a lot about this project and uh, been looking forward to trying it. Um, the Mac Mini finally arrived, so I said, let's give it a try. In any case, um, I have to begin by saying I really am encouraged by the work that the great folks over at Asahi have been doing. Uh, to have the Mac Mini being able to boot, to be able to have it to install, and especially because of the fact that they chose Arch Linux. My goodness, I think this project is going to be really good going to the future. But in any case, let me get to the point. And I do have some notes with regards to what has happened during the installation. Well, the first thing I noticed was that after following all the steps, ultimately, I ended up with a black screen. And it took me some time and some trial and error to figure out what was causing the black screen and why I was unable to get into the Calamaris installer. Well, after some trial and error, I was able to determine that um, the installation is very sensitive. It didn't like my mouse. So this mouse right here, standard two button mouse, uh, infrared type of a mouse there. Um, the system didn't like it. And um, I was able to determine that once I removed the mouse, then I was able to proceed with the installation. Now there's a few more things about the installation that you have to know. The most important thing is that it is a one-shot attempt. In other words, if you are fortunate enough to get to the um, Calamaris installation screen, don't turn off your computer or abandon the installation. Otherwise, you will not be able to get back into that installation unless you remove all of the Asahi uh, partitions and basically restart the whole thing. So you have to go back into Mac OS, remove the partitions, restart the computer, and go through everything all over again. All right, so don't abandon the installation unless you really don't want the system to be, to be in place. Uh, the next thing to know, um, Certain devices such as hubs, USB extenders, uh, Thunderbolt to HDMI adapters, any kind of exotic device will more than likely cause you to get to um, a black screen. So just make sure that when you start your installation, you just have your keyboard and your mouse nothing else attached to the Mac Mini. And if for some reason the system doesn't like your mouse, just boot up to the um, installer screen with just your keyboard and then plug the mouse in and the mouse should then work. The next thing to know about the installation is once you do the installation it is very likely you will not be able to restart the system and boot back in. What sense does it make to do an installation where you can't get back in after you have done the installation? So just keep in mind, um, the Asahi project as it is right now, it's not gonna be anyone's daily driver, but um, I expect that uh, the project will make great strides. As more people, uh, come on board the project and start to use it. And especially with it being Arch Linux, 
um, developers will have an easier time of putting the code together and um, adding different features and fixes. So hopefully we should see something soon in terms of uh, progress. I think the next year or two, it's going to be really interesting to see what uh, the fine folks over at Asahi come up with. I think I've pretty much gone over everything. Um, and there are videos out there that will show you how to remove the Asahi uh, partitions. And then once you have removed them, you just go ahead and restart the process if you have to. Um, all right. So I think that's pretty much everything. Again, this is Tony Stork here at stork.com. We try to get to the truth of matters. We try not to give people false hope. We just want people to be happy with their computers, know what to expect, and we try to take away all the fluff, you know. In any case, um, if you like this content, please subscribe. Once again, this is Tony Stork. Please visit our website, stork.com. We have some great new books coming out. Thank you again, and uh, you have a great day or night, wherever you are.